All right. Welcome, everybody, to the Todd Father Tuesday, Thursday night training. I am not the Todd Father. However, I am one of Todd's leaders, and he, he asked me to uh, host uh, the call tonight. And I was uh, happy to do that for him. He's traveling uh, to his wife's 50th uh, birthday. They went to Hawaii and they're celebrating that. So uh, that's a pretty cool uh, deal. Uh, so I get the pleasure of hosting the man of the hour tonight. Before I do, I would like to throw up a disclaimer because we talk about several things. Uh, we talk about precious metals. We talk about income. And so I want to get this out of the way. Purchasing precious metals, those involve some risk. Educate yourself prior to purchasing precious metals. Remember, we are not tax or financial advisors. Uh, we are uh, precious metals members of a, of a very, very uh, renowned company and one that is growing by leaps and bounds. And understand the future value of precious metals based on a lot of different factors. The past performance is no guarantee of future value or future performance. I always tell everybody this, though. One ounce of silver, like I'm holding in my hand, will always be worth one ounce of silver. It will never go to zero. Can't say that about the old fiat dollar. It's dying quite a slow death. And with that, I want to introduce our guest speaker, uh, who needs no introduction. Bob Reed was the first million-dollar earner in 7K medals. Bob Reed is a gold associate who has taught many thousands how to build a network marketing business, and that's what he's doing here tonight. Uh, it is how the basics of network marketing and tonight is part six, handling objections and answering questions. And so without further ado, I want to introduce you to my friend, one of my favorite mentors and uh, gold associate, Bob Reed. Bob, take it away. Thank you, Jerry. Can you put it on uh, speaker view, uh, on the view? I'd appreciate that. And we're, we're going get, to get started with part six of a seven-part series, The Basics of Network Marketing. Actually, it's the basics of any business. And, uh, but this one is one of, the, one of the very important ones, and uh, uh, particularly for people who are brand new and just getting started with their business or just engaging in their business. They may have been a member for years, but they're just now engaging. But even a member has to know how to answer questions and handle objections properly for it to give them the maximum return on benefits. So to start off tonight, I want to I want to give you a few rules, okay? And uh, it took me a long time to adopt these and uh, you know make them part of my business because it just wasn't my nature. I'm a red. If you do the four colors, or I'm a in a dis, a D, a driver, and we always have answers. We always uh, know how to respond. We always uh, jump at. Now that's a D. Now I I have to admit the S's, the the, the greens, the uh, yellows, uh, the 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 more quantitative people, less quantitative, more relational. Uh, They'll do much better in this session because they already have some of these skills, attitudes, and techniques. Again, those SATs that that fit this particular part of network market handling objections and answering questions. So, what are the some of these basic rules that we got to remember? First and foremost, be friendly and courteous. Do not be argumentative. Learn to ask lots of questions in answering questions. And use other tools, even three ways. And three ways are sometimes the best way 
to handle objections and answer questions, in particular, if you don't know them. But fifth and most importantly is knowledge. And so you have to acquire knowledge. So you can't answer questions or field objections without having a base of knowledge to even make you a good question asker, okay? And then have a, you know the proper training. And that's what we're going to do tonight. So uh, the ones that was very difficult to me was being argumentative because I'm basically a debater and argumenter. <laughs> argumentative, okay? So I had to learn that skill, okay? And it, and it really works. Even though you, you know that you know that you're right, you've got to respect the other person and where they're at and bring them into the fold. Don't turn them off of you because remember, we want them in the pipeline. We want to be able to harvest that pipeline. Part six, we want to be able to harvest that pipeline for years and years to come. And so that's why handling objections the proper way is the right thing to do. So let's get to some of the the, the major objections and answering questions uh, after we get this base knowledge. This base knowledge, and uh, hopefully we do this properly on onboarding a new person, but, you know, my, people I personally respond to, people I'm actually working with to help advance their business, build their business, think frog, whatever, and is I require them to read the FAQs at the bottom of your website. At the bottom of your website, uh, on your 7K Advantage, there are great FAQs. So it doesn't matter. Your job is to read the question and read the answers. This is going to, this is going to short circuit your your learning curve so much. Now a lot of it has to do setting up accounts and things, but you've got to have that knowledge too. Okay. The other thing is it's not just your FAQs in your 7K Metals website. It's your FAQs in your sound money because you have three different websites. It's your FAQs in, in, in stack and sell. Okay. So that we have three businesses in one. Uh, and so it's very important to understand that concept that we have three separate businesses in one. Okay. Because that's what makes our 599 lifetime membership so valuable and so inexpensive because they're all three e-commerce sites. So again, knowledge is what helps us build that concept of answering objections. And I'm going to get to one of them right now, the 599 Legacy VIP Membership. Well, why should I pay 599 well, do you, do you realize that you're getting three e-commerce websites for $599? That's you're getting 7K medals. You get to buy your gold and silver bullion at dealer direct cost. You don't have to buy 500 ounces, but you get that website. Just like if you're a member of Costco or Amazon Prime, you get a website. We all members have the same website on the front end. But when you log in, you have your own account. Well, you get the same thing with 7K Metals. Well, that makes it affordable to you. And you get, you know, in most cases, the best prices on your bullion. In particular, at, at affordable quantities that most people can buy at. Then you have sound money and sound money vaulting. Well, what's that? It's where you can incrementally buy gold. Gold is affordable to you. You can buy a dollar a day, ten dollars a week. They can store it there for fifty thousand dollars free. It's a private vault, no reporting to the government. Just the storage of it and being able to buy it is worth your membership. Because if you were doing it somewhere, and yeah, you need that. And then number three, stack and sell. What that's the if, if you want to earn an income, we believe in diversification and our diversification product is a product that you're going to learn about, but you can register it. You can, 
you can trade it, you can, uh, you know, that's where you can buy it and sell it, but you can keep all your records. And it's, 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 a, it's an e-commerce. People aren't members of 7K in countries we're not open in. Coin collectors, coin dealer, they can join, they can bid and buy, buy your coin if you need to sell them. So it's a, a, a trading place, kind of like an eBay, uh, uh, but for only newismatic collectible coins. And, it's, and, and uh, that's a website. You don't have to pay a hosting fee. You don't have to pay uh, for your, your domain. You don't have to pay for any. So $5.99, you get all three of these domains. You get all three of these websites hosted and maintained for a lifetime. Wow. How powerful is that? You know, how powerful is that? Remember how I just ended that? A question. <laughs> It's a statement question, but it's still a question. Now, we gave information there. So if you can't present it the way I just did, you need someone on a three-way that can present that question. That's, a, that's an answer to a question, but it's also an objection. Why should I do $5.99 instead of $2.69 or $1.49? We haven't even did the $1.49 or $2.69. But they're done in the same context. The 269, but you're just kind of stepping in. You get all three. You get the same benefit. You just don't get a medal bonus when people buy gold and silver bullion in the sound money wallet. And, you know, that's the only difference between a 269 and 599 lifetime membership and the fact that you have to renew it. Now, you can upgrade any time, but that is the difference between those two. A 149 basic, that is so restricted, so limited, has so many disadvantages. You know, I just look at you as a basic member. That's it. You know, you, 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 I really encourage you to take more time to understand the differences than just join with a 149 membership. Now, that's how I present. Okay. Now, how you present it is maybe, maybe, be a little difference with the 149. You may just want them in, okay? And some people do, but uh, that's not how I do the 149 membership, okay? I I believe the 149 membership has so many handcuffs on a pair, or it's only a, really available to the person who absolutely in dire financials, but I, I even then I say, well, you need it more than I thought you did. And so, see, I'm handling the price objection right now to the memberships. And it doesn't matter what it is. Well, I can't afford it. Well, how you can have a little humor with this is, and you've got to do it with a smile on your face. Remember, we're being personable in answering questions and handling objections. We're not, we're not being argumentative. Now, it might appear that way sometimes, but you, you got to make sure it's not taken that way, okay? You can be firm in what you believe, but not argumentative, okay? It, it, you can just say, well, it's, you know, it's just not the way, I'm sorry, with a little chuckle, okay? And, 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 and it's better that we leave it that way instead of trying to pursue a point when someone just doesn't understand or doesn't understand yet. So the, the price objection is, and what I like to do with that humor is, when they say, well, I just, I, I really just can't afford, I can't see where I have any money. Well, then that's where I say, well, you need it worse than I really thought you did. Let, let's get in here and let's see about how we make money with it. See, now, Let's, let's see how bad, do you understand how we earn income with this? And it's not just looking at it as expense. Do, do you, do, do questions that I want you to be able to ask in handling objections, you know, do, do you see the need that you need to own gold and silver? Do you have gold and silver now? 
Do you have enough? Would you want more? Or would you want to sell what you have? See, these are all kind of good questions. You don't do them in rapid succession, but you've got to have them in this handling of jobs. These you've got to have down pat, always available right there to pop out at the right time. Well, why should I join? I already buy bullion. Oh. Where do you buy it from? Learn something. Ask questions. Well, what if you could get it at a better price? Would you be open to learning more? Would you be open to understanding more? if you could get a better deal. And if they say no, well, we don't really have much to describe, but say, well, I'm gonna tell you, uh, I'm gonna just send you a little bit of information, watch it at your leisure. So you're now putting them into the pipeline, but you're also sending them something, okay? And that's part of using tools. Now, when, I'm going to address the one of the biggest objections that's around, and uh, and it all invariably comes up. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're trying to get me in one of those pyramid deals, one of those pyramid things, one of those one of those scams, and uh, you, you you know, it, it, I, I I just don't know. If I want to become associated with some something, something like this, and and when they say I don't want to be associated with something like this, you say, well, something like what? What you want them to do is really define what their issue is. You want them to say, well, it's one of those pyramid scams. It's one of those pyramid deals. It's one of those things that where all the people at the top make all the money. Oh, this is one I love. This one I've put up as part of tools. I'm going to use my sharing, uh, I'm going to share my screen now, and I'm going to pull this up because this is the great way how to handle this objection. And this is, and all these tools that I provide, they're all in your band apps. They're in the attachments. You can find everything. You can find many of my trainings on handling objections, using tools to handling objections. And when they use that word pyramid, when it comes out, you say, well, one of the things you do is say, well, what is a pyramid scheme? What, 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 what do you define? What, how, do you, how do you define a pyramid scheme? And let them talk. And you say, well, most of the time they're going to say it's the person at the top makes all the money. It's one of those scams where, uh, you know, people start to get other people into this thing and, they, and you have to buy this stuff every month and all this stuff. They start describing the things that are just regular business, just the, where they're employed, where, the, where they work. So you let them describe what they mean and then you can ask them a question. You mean, you mean like where the person at the top, like if the CEO makes the most money and, and most people never have the chance of ever becoming the CEO. Is that kind of like, like where you work, you know? Is that kind of, the, you know, like that? And it, you say, you know, what great about network marketing is such a great industry, been around for so many times that you and I are CEOs of our own business. Now we can do it part time. We can make it a plan B. And that's what's so cool about it. But wouldn't you like to have a plan B just in case? See, a question mark question mark then you give them this and you describe that you know this is what i see as a pyramid this is the real scam we've been brainwashed we've been brainwashed for years just like we've been brainwashed not to and not taught about gold and silver real money not we've been we've been taught about paper about Stocks, bonds, paper dollars, fiat currency. We've been taught to do this kind of stuff. That's to make other people wealthy. But we haven't been taught how to secure our own wealth, how to secure our own uh, and financial advantage like they have done for decades and decades and decades and centuries and centuries, in fact. So 
this is what I see as a pyramid. Could you tell me why I would be in a pyramid or trying to get you in a pyramid? You know, you're your friend, you're your 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 relative, you're you're an associate. I go to church with you. I don't want to get you into something that's a pyramid, that's a scam. And you say, well, did did you realize that this company is seven and a half years old? If it was a pyramid of scam, it got caught years and years ago. I mean, the, the government, the, the those three letter agencies would have been after this place a long time ago. But, you know, what's really neat, did you realize that two of the largest coin grading companies in the world, their whole reputation is on grading coins to certify their purity, their authenticity, their uh, their their fact that you know they're a, either a perfect coin or a little bit less than perfect in a grading scale, and they're the ones that makes the difference in what is called numismatic or collectible coin. They're the ones that really set the standard so buyers and sellers can have a a basis from. But did you realize that 7K Metals is the only metals company that is co-labeled with these companies? And these, I mean, you see these companies advertised on TV all the time. You know, you 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 hear about uh, uh, all these uh, Gold Line, Swiss America, uh, 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 I, I'm I'm just not going to go down to big long Blanchard and Company. <laughs> I'm going to do Blanchard and Company because they sell newsmatics a lot. Okay, uh, Rosslyn Capital. And, you know we can go on and on and on. These are the ones advertising over TV all the time. They're the ones really kind of telling you and me we need to own gold and silver, and that's a fact. I don't disagree with that. But compare their prices to seven K prices. There's the key. There's the big difference. Oh, no, you don't have to be a member of them, but you have to buy $5,000 or $25,000, and you have to buy it at their price, and their price is much higher than some case price. But see, those companies have been in business for decades and decades, yet they, don't, they aren't co-labeled with two of the most reputable, the highest, most recognized grading companies in the whole world, PCSG and NGC. And then just show them one of your, one of our coins with the label, co-labeled. This is PSAG, our World Series, our Beauties of the World Series coin. Or, you know, our State Series coin. There's NGC, there's 7K. And that's been, we, we've been having, and PCSG saw 7K. So if, do you think that would be associated? Let me just ask you a question. Do you think they would have their name attached with a pyramid scam or a scam company? Hmm. Would you like to take a further look? Because it's Knowledge is what gives you the power to make an informed business decision. And this is a business decision. Pricing objections again. When they say, well, I'm a bullion. I've been buying it from 20 years here or 10 years or five. I trust the sources. And I said, well, okay. Are you diversified? What do you mean? Well, you're just buying bullion. You're not buying a diversification product, a numismatic coin, a coin that gains value with time, it's going to always gain the value of bullion. That's where you're buying bullion, but it's going to gain even more value. It gains value because, number one, it's fun, okay? Yeah, may as well have fun with it. Can't have fun with bullion. After a while, bullion fun runs out, okay? It is fun collecting the different kinds of bullions and all that kind of stuff. But it, bullion is bullion, okay? There's a little difference between a maple leaf and a U.S. eagle. I, I understand that. But 
and and around in a in a country sovereign country uh countries uh gold and silver bullion i understand that and you do too okay so give them credit for knowledge may they may not have okay when they're talking boy notice what i just did then i understand it and, and you probably do too or you do too now, you don't even have to have the problem you do too you're just giving them credit knowledge they may not have but they don't have the knowledge of this otherwise they'd be buying it they don't have new do you have any newest packs what what grades are your coins have you been collecting them long? again questions see uh handling objections is to become a great question asker pleasantly <laughs> affably in a friendly manner, not a combative manner, okay? So uh, then you can come to the real question. See, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some of these solutions, but uh, if, it, it, if you are doing it with a three-way with a team partner, that is the most effective. So you're not providing it. Other people are providing it, and you may even know these things. But it's better if you can arrange that three-way. And we'll get to that in a minute so we can handle these objections properly and the different types of tools to use in handling objections. And so uh, when, when we do that, we can ask this question. Okay, you've been buying gold, and so you recognize the need. Uh, does your source pay you to buy from them? Does your source pay you to buy from them? Well, see, ours does because it's satisfied customers. See, they don't advertise on TV like all those other companies do. And maybe your company, a local company or local dealer does not broker or retailer does not advertise, except maybe local every once in a while, but they do advertise. If they don't, then they're not paying their referral customers money, but ours does. So when you refer someone to become a member and buy from 7K, well, they pay us referral. Can, can I show you the type of referral fees that we get? Well, you say, oh, that's what I mean by one of those pyramid deals. I said, really? I got, uh, you mean Amazon Prime? The biggest retailer in the world was a pyramid deal because see when they started they paid people referral fees to get other people to join amazon prime did you realize that i, I guess costco is one of those referral fee scams right did you realize for decades and decades costco paid referral fees for members to bring in and uh, other members to join Costco. Well, see, 7K is like the Costco of gold and silver. It's like the Amazon of gold and silver, except we just knew. We're only seven and a half years old, but we firmly established. We're not some just startup company that's going to go out of business in the next one to three or four years, like nearly all startup network marketing companies do. They fleece the flocks. No. We're established. We're well beyond those means, and we've been tested many times. Does that mean we'll never be tested again? Oh, of course not. But we'll weather those storms because we're so firmly rooted and firmly established in the gold and silver market. We're a mainstay. We're a disruptor in that market. We've become a major player in the gold and silver market. So, yeah, we're going to be here for decades and decades and decades and decades. They'll be able to weather storms. Startup companies can't. They won't be able to weather. They'll fold at the first storm. <laughs> like all of our other copycats have done over the past seven and a half years. And all future copycats. Will, will there be more copycats? Oh, yeah, there'll be always copycats. But they won't have the asset base. They won't have the connection. They won't have the reputation. They won't have the, the stability 
that this company has as it expands globally around the world, continues to grow border to border, coast to coast. In our own, in our, in, 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 in North America itself. Again, answering questions, handling objections is one of the most important parts of handling the business and, and ha having the bit, but learning to ask questions is a key. Well, why should I buy that product every month? Do you want to make an income? See, we have to stay active. It's just part of, you know, every, every, every company has a standard, has a, com has a compensation plan and it has requirements for that compensation plan. But the really great part about it is this company teaches you. It's a learning. So we're going to be taught and we're going to be teaching other people what they have not been taught about gold and silver on purpose their entire lifetime. And we're going to be educating. We're educators. We're, but you don't have to be the educator. The company has the tools and the network, the team that you will be in. And see, this is a team company. You you promote as a team. Now, you might promote and pique people's interest of your own circle of influence with help if you want it from your team. But if not, but you will then work and answer questions and handle objections and how to build and how to learn and how to teach at, you know, through your team and through, through the company. So back to that pyramid thing. Have you ever had your bosses, 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 boss, or all the bosses above each one of your bosses wanting you to do a better job than they do? In this company, they do. So see, it's not the people at the top. Even Bob Reed wasn't at the top. Okay. He he didn't get a call from Richard Rain Hands until they were in business for already two weeks. Richard called him on purpose later. But he was one of the last persons Richard sponsored. He's down here. But everybody above Bob, since Bob has one of the largest organizations, if not the largest organization in the entire company, all that volume goes up to them. Bob even has people now that outrank him in his business and help them. So see, just because Bob's not on top, didn't mean he made all the most money. He, he was down here and all his volume went up to those people. Those people could have made more money than him. And Bob now has people who, who are going to make more money than him. And Bob's income is capped. Everybody's income is capped. How would you like your income to be capped at 12500 a week? Wouldn't that be pretty cool? What if it took you 40 years to get there? Do you have a chance at what you're doing 40 years from now to ever make 12500 a week? How about 7000 a week? 40 years from now. What if you could do that in the next 10 years? Would that be powerful? Hey, let me ask you a question. What if you could develop a side stream of income? Remember, question in. Let me ask you a question. What if you could develop a side stream of income of 500 a week in the next 10 years while you're accumulating wealth, while you're buying bullion, and you're diversifying, getting a collectible product, and have your taxes help you buy these things, through 1099 tax benefits. Would you want to know a whole lot more how that happens? See, you don't have to ask them to join right then. Would you want to know? Well, first of all, you want to know if it's worth your time spending the time with them. If they say no to that, then, it, you know, it's okay. I'll stay in touch. I'll keep how things going. I'll show you some of the growth, I'll just can't keep you filled in on, a, on an occasional basis. Put them in the pipeline. Okay. These are some of the key questions that I want you to know in handling objections and how to handle objections. In the question and answer period, and I want everyone that's live with us to, you know, just start Jotting down questions. 
just jot them down. We're going to put them in the chat and we're going to have Derek French read them all to me. And I'm going to handle every question that comes up here tonight. I'd like to have y'all to have a hundred questions. Let's just get them all filled. Let's get them all on tape. Okay. But this is a training of how to handle objections and answer questions. Become the best question asker and learn how to use tools. Don't be argumentative. And then make sure you acknowledge them. What do I mean by that? Okay, let's say you're not the one answering questions. You need to set up that freeway. So you would, in your follow-up, your, your, what did you like best about what you saw in that video? That's the only question you ever ask. What did you like best about that video? The only other question that you ask, if they, you know, give you something positive, you say, absolutely, I saw that too. Are you ready to grab your membership now? Yep, you, you're going to ask them. If you don't ask, you will never receive. And, you know, now you're going to generate those objections or those questions when you ask that, okay? <laughs> and so that's when we start. And, you know, if they, you're not the one to really answer. You're not the one to, you know, handle something that you feel extremely competent and confident in handling. You just say, hey, hey Jim, that is a great question. I, I understand. I had the same thing. Let Can, can I send you a quick little tool that's going to handle it a lot better than me. And let me get back with you and let's see if you have any, if that doesn't have any, if anything. Has. So I'm going to send you this little video. So any, any, any objection you can handle that. And I've got a whole list of these things for you. And you, you got to learn how to use which tool or for what, what question or answer. Okay. Uh, and, for example, what do you mean? How how do my taxes pay? Or are you going to send him the Courtney Epps video? Or are you going to send him one of my other videos, a tax consultant, tax lawyer? I have a series of different videos to use as third party. These are tax people telling. It's not you and me telling them. It's tax people. Courtney Epps' video is one of the better ones. It's only 15 minutes, not even 15 minutes. And it's very good and explains. And then you set that time for that callback. On that callback, you're going to have a teammate on. That teammate, that three-way, they're going, and you, you're going to say, hey, hey, Jim, uh, good, good to see you just calling back, getting back to you to answer, you know, to, to see if that helped fill in the gap and answer any other questions you have before we grabbed your membership in 7K. And I've got, I've got uh, uh, Derek on, on the line with me. Uh, he, he's, he, he, he's on my team. He, we're, I'm on his team. We're working together, and and he'd be part of your team too. And uh, we we want to answer any questions you might have at this point. Bingo! You turn this call over to Derek. You turn this call over to Mike Mandato. You turn this call over to Todd. You turn this call over to uh, Greg Zernia. You turn this call over to uh, uh, any one of the leaders uh, that you are working with in your teams on answering questions. That's where you zip it. They handle everything from there on out, okay? And again, that's how we handle objections and answer questions. Getting the tools are what's so important. You know, especially the, the tools about why would I wanna pay $139 or a collectible coin, it's only that, that silver and it's only worth $26. Great question. But what if I've told you that you wouldn't be paying $139 for it? Would you want to know how that's that that you're not paying what you think you're paying? You send them my video. You you send them my video, which explains your that. Uh, that's on the band app is part of your basic onboarding. Now you should have seen that when you came on board. If not, you really need to see that. <laughs> okay. And 
And this goes through the fact of what that coin you think is costing you. And then we deduct all the costs away from it of why you're not paying that. And you can actually even get it for free, depending on where you're at in your tax bracket, where you're at in what you do and how how you bill your, your business and what kind of write-offs you get, you know. And so those are the main essentials in handling objections and answering questions, okay? It's kind of like when you're calling them back, you're using that feel, felt, form, warm, like when you're first making that peak interest prospect call that very first time. Can't spend a lot of time visiting, but you don't just jump right into it, jump on top of them, you know, about making money and getting rich. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Okay. And, and so what we want to do is, though, present the business the way it really is, that we need to own gold and silver. We need to accumulate wealth. 7K is the way it can do it for everyone. To have. Masses is what's important. And then when we get to, you know, why do I buy a product every month? Well, well why does a, a Whataburger sell Whataburgers every day? If they're not selling a product, they're not making money. We're in a business. 7K is in a business. They got to sell product. Okay. Now, admittedly, they don't make any hardly anything, if anything, on bullion. You know, their 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 basis is not to make a ton of money on bull bullion. Their basis is to cover their costs and give us the best prices possible as members on bullion. Because we all need to own it, and that's the whole mission statement of 7K. The other thing I like to always add in this and handling objections, because it's not always about money. It's about helping others. We're in a business of one another business, people helping people. And so what you what you want to ask and you want to have that mission statement of 7K always available to you. And in the end, you can always ask that other leading question. Hey, Jim. You know, I know you like helping people. I know you like doing good. I know you like reaching out. Wouldn't you like to be part of something that's bigger than you and I? Part of something that's helping people around the world. Part of people of helping people out. Wouldn't you want to be part of something bigger than us? Because that's what really kind of dr drives me. In fact, that's what drove me to become a member of 7K. Not the money. Not the, you know... The gold and silver. I was already in gold and silver. I've been in gold and silver now almost 38 years. And then just kind of read them the mission statement, which I'm going to read you. Okay. We created 7K because we genuinely want to improve the lives of people around the world. We have watched way too many of our friends struggle as the economy fluctuates. Employment issues arise. Our unexpected changes come up in life. Using the power of gold and silver, we believe we can provide a way for people to create financial stability, preserve their wealth, and live an exceptional life. We started this company because we believe in you. That's from the four co-founders of this company, and they earnestly believe every word of that. I know all four of them personally, and I know they believe that. And that is what we, you and I, are doing. We're doing it for our family, ourselves, our family, our loved ones, and people we meet, and people we're going to meet in the future. We're a force of good, and we want you to join us in that force of goodness and help us spread it around the world. I hope you see what we see. I hope you're a part of what we do. 
And I hope this helps you in handling those objections properly and answering questions about your 7K business. Thank you so very much. Back to you, Derek, and I'll let you share the income disclosure, even though I didn't really talk about it that much.